Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're checking out one of the craziest all-in-one AI tools right now, Zoer AI. If you've ever wanted to build your own full stack app, complete with a database, backend, frontend, hosting, and even payments, this tool does everything for you in just a few minutes. What is Zoer AI? So here's the deal. Zoer AI is basically your entire dev team packed into one platform. It's like Lovable, Superbase, Stripe, and Midjourney all rolled into one powerful AI workspace. You just describe what you want, and boom, Zoer AI builds it for you automatically. All right, let's check out Zoer AI's pricing. There are three plans, Free, Starter, and Pro. The free plan costs nothing. You get 15 credits every month and can build up to three public apps to try things out. The starter plan is $19 a month. You get more credits, private apps. Then the pro plan, $30 a month, gives you unlimited apps, unlimited database records, and priority support. And yeah, if you pay yearly, you get 20% off. Pretty solid for a full-stack AI builder. Zoer also has a community section. You can grab free templates, clone any project, and make your own changes instantly. So this is my prompt. Basically, the user just enters a product name and a product image, and the AI automatically generates Facebook and Instagram ad banners in multiple aspect ratios. You get three free generations, and after that, there's a Stripe paywall for unlimited creative designs. Pretty cool idea. Fast, automated, and perfect for ad creators. All right, now I've pasted the prompt. Next, I'm heading over to the Integrations tab. Here you can see all the built-in options Zoer gives you. We're gonna use all of them, starting with Database, then Authentication, File Upload, AI Image Generation, and finally Stripe for payments. For the Stripe integration, we need to add our API keys. That's the public key and the secret key. I've already pasted mine here, so Zoer can connect directly to my Stripe account and handle payments automatically. You can find your Stripe API keys right from the Stripe dashboard. Just go to Developers, and under API keys, you'll see both your public key and secret key. Here, we also have public and private options for visibility. You can choose whatever you prefer. Public lets others see your project, and private keeps it just for you. And here we have the Prompt Enhancer option. Just click it, it'll automatically improve your prompt and make it more detailed for better results. All right, now we've got a clear MVP for our project. Every page, every section, fully generated, ready to go. It's super clean, well-structured, and honestly, this came together way faster than expected. Now, let's hit Submit. Now Zoer takes our MVP prompt, analyzes all the requirements, and automatically builds a complete project plan with every feature we need. It generates detailed layouts for each page and section, including theme colors, fonts, and overall structure. After the analysis, Zoer provides a full breakdown, a public landing page, a user authentication system with OAuth and email verification, an AI-powered ad generation page, download options, usage and limit tracking, a checkout page, and even some history and activity pages. It also gives design recommendations, our primary color palette, modern sans-serif fonts like Inter and Poppins, and a set of reusable UI components for faster development. Plus, it includes integration ideas, like drag-and-drop image uploads and preview thumbnail, and even lists out the plugins being used in the build. Basically, Zoer just created a complete, ready-to-develop blueprint for our app, automatically in one go. Once you've reviewed the blueprint, just click the Build App button, and that's where the real magic happens. Zoer will start the full project development process and actually begin writing the code automatically. So the first thing Zor does is create the SQL queries for building the database. It's using PostgreSQL under the hood, setting up all the tables and relationships automatically. Now the database build is complete and Zor is moving on to the Next.js code setup. It's using the app router structure and for the UI, it's powered by ShadCN UI components. And the Next.js folder structure that Zoyer sets up is really well organized, super clean and easy to maintain, which makes future updates and scaling so much smoother. 
While Zoyer is finishing up the code generation, let's take a look around the database tab. Here you can see all the tables Zoyer created for our app. We've got a users table, which already includes my Zoyer logged in email. That becomes the admin account for this project. Then there's the user subscription table, which manages all the Stripe subscription details. We also have several user related tables, plus a subscription plans table. So plans and pricing are coming directly from the database, not static. You'll also notice session and auth related tables, along with a few more that handle other parts of the app. Everything is automatically structured, ready for real production use. This is the preview tab. Once Zoer finishes building, we'll be able to see our full website live right here. And over here is the control center. This is where we can manage everything about our app. You can change the visibility anytime, edit the app name and description, and even enable or disable features like the Zoer badge or Zoer Copilot AI Assistant. It's basically your app's command panel, everything you need in one place. And right here, we also have another tab for integrations. This is where you can manage all your connected services. For example, if you're using Stripe and want to update your API keys, you can easily change them right here without touching the code. Zor is still working on developing the app. It usually takes a few minutes to finish everything, so I'll pause the video here and come back once the build is complete. All right, the app is ready. This is version one of our project. I'm going to open the website in a separate tab so we can get a full view of how everything looks. Here we've got the sign up with Google option and also the email and password sign up method, which even sends a verification email automatically. For now, I'll go with the Google sign up. Let's check it out. This is the landing page of our website. Right here, we've got the Why Choose Us section that highlights the main features and benefits. And just below that, there's the pricing section with clear details for the free, pro, and enterprise plans, everything neatly organized and easy for users to understand and compare. Now, just click the Get Started Free button, and this takes us to the Ad Generation page. Here, we've got three free credits to start with. So let's add our product name, product details, and also upload a product image. The AI will then generate ad banners automatically for all social media platforms with different aspect ratios optimized for each one. Now hit the generate button and wait for a few seconds. And there we go, our ads are ready. We've got options to download all or generate new creatives and the AI has produced ad banners for each social media platform, all with the perfect aspect ratios automatically. I just regenerated the ad post, and this version is also looking really nice. Now, just download the images and you're ready to post on your social media. Click Download All, and when your browser asks, just allow the site to download multiple files. You'll see all three ads downloaded instantly, open any one of them to check, and yep, everything looks perfect and ready to upload. Now go ahead and share them across your social platforms. So we've used up two credits and now I'm going to subscribe to get more. Let's open the pricing section on the landing page and click the pro button. Interesting, it opens a separate pricing page this time. All right. From here, again, just click subscribe now to continue with the plan. Oops, it's not working. Looks like we just got our first error. <laughs> so I open the developer tools and here you can see it's showing a missing fields error. No worries, I'll just copy the error message, go back to Zoer, paste it in, and let the AI fix it automatically. Zoer has started working on the fix. And the best part is, it's creating version two of our website automatically. That's super useful because you can restore version one anytime you need to. I really like this feature, and if anything breaks, you can simply restore the previous code version in just one click. Now we'll need to wait a few minutes while Zoer fixes the issue, so let's give it a moment to complete the update. All right, Zoer has now provided version 2. Hopefully the issue is fixed this time. Let's click the Start Pro button. And there we go, Stripe is opening now. Here's our pricing and I'm going to enter my email and card details. For testing, I'll just use a test card number and add a random billing address as well. 
Once everything is filled out, click the pay button. The payment is processing. Just wait a couple of seconds. And there it is. We've successfully upgraded to the pro plan. You can see the credits have increased and the pro plan label is now active. That's it. See how easy it is to set up payments and subscriptions in Zoer? Zoer AI also provides an inbuilt AI chatbot, so you can chat with the AI directly inside your app. If you don't want it, just go to the control center and disable the option. After that, it won't show anymore. For deployment, it's super easy. Just click the deploy button and wait a few seconds. And there we go. Our website is successfully deployed. Here's the live URL and you can share it with anyone. And that's it. Our full app is now live and running perfectly with Zoer AI. From idea to deployment, everything was handled automatically in just a few clicks. The integrations, payments, and AI setup worked flawlessly together. Overall, Zoer makes building and launching apps super fast and effortless. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.